everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today I have another small shop haul for you all. Uh, and this one is going to be a it's same ones like my good old reliables. Uh, I've you guys all have to send me like some shops that uh, you recommend for me so I can try some new shops that I have not shopped from before. But uh, it's got some something I'm super excited for in this one right here. This is from O Snap Crafters Cafe. And then I've got uh, diamond painting or DP with sparklers right here and something super fun and super special that I'm waiting for right inside here. Uh, I'm super excited for this. And then, um, yes, this big old box right here is from Enablers Outpost. Um, I took advantage of a sale that they were having. So <laughs> we will see um, my like little bit of uh, overdoing it on the, uh, the the pen side right here. So yes, that's what we've got there. So we're gonna go ahead and break into our haul right now. And we're gonna start off with the Osnap Crafters Cafe. So you guys will have seen a couple, um, couple weeks ago that I did get a little bit of, ooh, gotta break into it. Like maybe I should have opened the other side and pushed it out. See, I open, I slice open the boxes in the bags, but I don't actually try to open them um, because I want to be surprised about opening them for you all on video. Uh, so that way you get to see my first impression. Um, so sometimes it's easier than others. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and break into this. Oops, we're gonna go ahead and take my packing slip. Ooh, there we go. Uh, I gotta thank you so much, Alyssa. I really appreciate your support. Enjoy all these little cuties. Heart Jenny. So, let me pick up my stickers that fell on the floor. Because they are cute and fun. So I got a, now they have uh, dog hair on them. Don't give up. And then this super fun star. I should do like a sticker haul. Has anyone collected all of the stickers that they've gotten as freebies from like small shop hauls um, and things like that to see how many stickers you've accumulated over the over time? Uh, because I've accumulated a whole lot. So anyways, uh, in her live, she's talking about the fact that she is getting uh, no really much. Hi. Hi, Mochi. She wants this box. So she knew I had a box. And now she's coming to investigate said box. Oh, I love it. So it looks like this was a little bit of a freebie. Dead inside, but caffeinated. Love it. That is an adorable cover minder. I love. Very nice. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, and then this was basically a cover minder haul. Uh, so she had uh, announced that she was getting rid of some of her uh, cover minders. Um, that she was no longer going to be selling after they sold out and they were just too cute and of course they were unicorns so and they're like large unicorn cover minders so I had to pick these up and there were only three of I think the four that originally were in the set that she had left on her Etsy shop mochi you she's not very helpful is she um, so you have a cute is all get out unicorn eating a donut so that's our first one uh, and she decided to do that just because they uh, are tricky getting them in because they can be fragile like this one right here I guess is a really fragile one and some of them arrive broken a lot of times when she gets orders them so rather than having you know a lot of her stock already arrived to her broken she's like decided to switch over to a new type but I was like um I have to get this uh, rainbow farting unicorn. Look at that. I thought this was too adorable. I could not pass it up. Super cute. Nice strong magnet. I couldn't pass them up. They're super adorable. And they had to come home with me. So it was a must. And then the third one of this set, there were four, but I couldn't, the fourth one was sold out. And this one is a dancing dabbing unicorn with the cover minder magnet on its tail. That is adorable. Like, I could not pass those three unicorns up. They were too precious. Could not pass them up. And then she's replacing them with a new set of unicorns that she has in different styles. And uh, um, so 
these are the other ones and I got the pink ones so you have this one which is just this adorable little cute uh, pink unicorn I'm gonna move that one right there and then you've got I think this one's my favorite one <laughs> it's like can't even be bothered this is how I feel today. Uh, it's like the end of the week when I'm filming this on a Friday and that's kind of like how I feel today. It's like, nope, nope, just can't even, no trying even, just done. We're gonna set this off to the side next to the mochi. And then the other one is, ta-da, here I am, ta-da, here I am. So got those unicorn cover minders to add to my unicorn cover minder collection because I have lots of unicorn cover minders. So there are the unicorns. Super cute. Love those. They're adorable. Uh, I think that one's my favorite. Oh, well, it's kind of a tie. Ah, I don't, I can't even decide because they're all so cute, but I could not pass them up. So now I have more unicorns to add to all the other unicorns. One of these days I will do, you do not fit inside this box in a styrofoam, so you can't have it coming over on this side mochi. She's trying to fit inside that styrofoam. All right, uh, one of these days I will show you guys my um, cover minder collection because I like my cover, I like I have, that's gonna be on the agenda at one of these days. I'm trying to remember what I ordered besides the specialness of these three things. That's my packing label. We will put the styrofoam inside this bag so that way ah, there we go had to break the bag open all the way then I don't have to worry about mochi getting into it because this is mochi and this is what she does all right so my DP was sparklers order um the whole purpose of this order was primarily for these three special objects there I am going to take my packing slip out of here so we can kind of get into it. All right. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to remember what I ordered. Oh, that's right, okay. That's what I did. I was just like, what did I order? Ah, that's right. I was trying to think and I'm like, why does that look so big? Okay, I remember, The. So here is our, uh, business card dp with sparklers.com with tina or tima got an emery board some blue wax the thin washi tape i love every single time i get a different color get a little bracelet you have the cuteness or the nice sticker there and you have that adorable little one there and then i have a thank you and then she has um every time you do an order here is she's announcing it here so every time you do an order with dp with sparklers you put your order number in uh, a special tab on their facebook group and it um, basically gives you a chance to uh basically win a special giveaway uh, and you can also qualify for, um, like if you watch um, her uh, YouTube live on uh, her YouTube, they, she will give out, uh, Tina will give, or Tima will give out a secret word and you can get a free cover minder. Or in this case, uh, for the month of August, it was this adorable, which I got in my previous order and I already got one item, like I don't need to, Two, uh, I'm not greedy, so I will get just get one. So this is what it was in the previous, one of my previous orders from this month, uh, or my previous order from this month. This adorable little, uh, cute little pig uh, cell phone stand. But usually it's a cover minder. This previous one was a little pig. Uh, and you just get that for free. So that is something to know. And I like that they're announcing that there. All right, so. One of my orders, or one of the things that I ordered, was a bling up pack. And I'm not gonna pull all the items out of here, but it's 10 separate items to bling up Mr. Peacock, which is by Lola Gonzalez, uh, Diamond Art Club Amazon kit. 
and it's 10 separate packs of drills in here. Uh, and you can see here, we've got some crystal ABs, we've got some crystals, we've got um, some different blingy things. We've got some uh, quad cubes in there, some different drills in here. And we got some regular ABs in there, specifically that they've uh, kind of deemed that are appropriate for blinging up this peacock canvas. Um, and I was like, I didn't want to deal with the hassle. It's already packaged up. So when I bling up that canvas, boom, I just pull this out and it's nice and convenient. Boom. I don't even have to think about it. Done. Easy day. Uh, so that's one of the really nice services, uh, that they offer for some of the kits that they've already evaluated and worked on, uh, as far as like the bling kits, uh, and you can go to the website and they'll, um, there'll be a whole list of kits. Uh, that they're slowly working on that you can just purchase the entire kit just like this and then the suggestions you go and you can uh, download for free the suggestion list which tells you where to put uh, what drills to replace in what area of the canvas to put these in so that's that all right now we are going to go ahead and open this one here which is the second item that I purchased that was one purchase I only purchased three three things technically from this order. So I, I was relatively tame, only three purchases. They taped this up really well. I think there's bubble wrap inside the tape too, or inside the paper as well. So uh, the kit that I, one of the kits that I've done for the month of, uh, August I used a lot of the half pearls and I loved being able to have them in like this nice handy dandy little uh, like where is the end oh my goodness I'm like I can't find the end of the bubble wrap thingy uh, and I loved having them in this like nice little container to be able to easily see what I have to bling it up and I have some quad cubes already and you can see there are a few quad cubes in there, but I was like, you know what? I want, I like this, and this is even more varieties and colors that I didn't even know existed. So this is the quad cube color box, which is 24 different varieties of quad cubes. Like all the colors you could possibly imagine. I think this is like all of the ones that they actually carry in this little set. And they've even got the, uh, the list right here which will correspond but look at all of that bling so now I can just look at this and be like hey these are the ones that I would want to add um, and I'll I can always take the handful because I only have some colors of quad cubes already and I could put the handful of quad cubes that I already have right into this box to fill it back up because I've got like I've got some aquas uh, I think I've got some of the uh, emerald. I've got a couple colors, uh, but I definitely do not have 24 colors of quad cubes. So uh, I have the same um, style of kit like this in the uh, their half pearl uh, kit that like this, which was super fun and super easy to use when it came to doing my um, uh, blinging up my. Um, talisman kit that I did for um, Ozanog. That was, yes, for Ozanog. I was trying to think of what event I just did for August. Uh, so when I was blinging up that canvas, there were certain areas that were like four, like four spots of the same color right by each other. And I was like, that would be perfect for adding a little extra bling. So I pulled out my half pearls and I just like flipped it over like this to see, hey, what ones of these, because this is so easy to see through the bottom, I'm like, which ones of these would be the closest match to what is already on the canvas? And I didn't even have to worry about, I'm like, I'm not even gonna try to like match, because those ones were in like actual DMC, uh, had the actual DMC number uh, for the half pearls, but I'm like, I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna look and see what looks closest to what um, the drill is that the original drill color and not even worry about like the DMC number. So 
but look at these shades. These are gorgeous. I love this. This is beautiful. So I'm super excited about these, the quad cubes, to add some extra bling. I'm slowly adding, branching out, because I started only doing ABs, and now I'm slowly, then I moved to like crystals and crystal ABs. Now I've started using some half pearls, and I'm started, I'm excited to start adding in some quad cubes to some of the kits that I work on. So this was my quad cube color box with the variety. I'm gonna leave it like this so you guys can see all of these pretty colors because that's just fun. Oh, that is just so pretty and fun. So we're gonna leave it like this so you can see all the colors of those quad cubes. Now, for the part that I am probably more excited about than any other part out of like this haul from DP with sparklers is da -da -da -dum, bum, bum my 3D printed turtles. Oh my gosh, look at these. Is this not the cutest little thing? So this is turtle number one. So you've got a little flat bottom. You've got little articulated legs. Look at the little articulations. Articulated leg, articulated head, the little jiggly legs. And I love this color shift, like green, to blue, like look at that beautiful shades. Oh, like this side, he's green. This side, he's blue. From the top down, he's kind of shimmery color. So we've got this little turtle, he's super cute. So we have the little turtle right there. That's the small turtle. As soon as I saw these turtles, I was like, um, I absolutely 100% must, must, must have turtles because um, I love my turtles. Turtles and pink flamingos, I love them both. This is the medium turtles, this is turtle number two. He is super cute. So I've got my three little cover minder turtles and now I have my three little regular turtles and he's got that same shimmery color shift um, material. Same thing like little articulated leggies and head. And he's just so cute. There's turtle number two. And then we have the full size 100% turtle number three. Look at that blue shimmer there. And then we flip it around and look at that beautiful green. Oh, and then we flip it on top and you have like that, like almost, oh, that's such a beautiful color shade. And he's so adorable. Oh my goodness, I am in love with these turtles. And it's so much fun that they make this like rattly noise. But look at that. Is that not the cutest little turtle ever? They are so cute and I loved this color. So I've got my little turtle family from DP with Sparklers. So now I've got my six little turtles from DP with Sparklers and I couldn't resist them. They are beyond adorable. Um, so they're gonna sit on my bookshelf because next to my diamond painting desk because they are too cute. They're turtles and I love my turtles. So that was my DP with Sparklers haul. Not as many sparklers this time uh, and that's because I was waiting on my turtles. And now we're gonna break into my enablers outpost box. So I have two separate orders in here. Uh, and I debated, I was like, should I unbox uh, one of these and save the other for later? Or should I unbox, I'm trying to think, woo, as I dropped one of them. Uh, so these are two separate orders. So it looks like so much but it's really two orders here, not one order. She just shipped both of them at the same time. Uh, and they were ordered like two weeks apart. Um, I just did, um, so one week, and here's her thank you so much, Alyssa. Uh, so one of the orders was basically done um, when uh, they were having a sale. I think that is, let's see which order is this. I think she can just split them up into Alright. So 
I think she just kind of split them up so they're a little bit more even. So I got a couple of the pens when they were on sale and then the other, um, well, most of the pens from when she was doing a sale and then the other two were like a uh, purchase from, let me pull these two up. So these are the two that were, I believe the immediate, like the latest release that I saw and had to purchase. Uh, I think those were those two. And then the other three, or the other ones, so I'm gonna lay them out. I know, you guys are gonna be like, what in the world did you do? I believe is how I did this. So, we're, I think this is how it's gonna go. So it was a combination of sale and regular order. So here's activity sheet all the goodies we're going to kind of combine unboxings here's the other activity sheet <laughs> and you're hearing the crinkle of mochi climbing into the box on my floor and now we go into their scratch to win for black friday uh, for their black friday sale they're planning on so i will be looking at that off camera and then they've got these super adorable little cover minders uh, as the freebies. And those are too cute, too cute. I love that. That is super cute. Uh, we're going to do, we're probably going to do the pens kind of in the front. And we're going to pull out the stickers. So, oh, that's a really pretty one. I like that. Love the sticker. There's a mermaid, it's a zodiac one, another space themed, super adorable. Oh, and this one matches that cover minder. Look at that, so we've got some stickers there and we've got plenty of candy. This is like my candy stash. And I totally have a cat in the box right now. So here is my candy stash. So I am good on candy. I never buy candy, so this is how I get all of my candy is from all of you guys. So this is my candy stash. All right, uh, like I said, I kind of went a little, um, I think it was, I'm trying to remember which one. I honestly am trying to remember which way I ordered it. I think, I think it was those two, or was it this one? I can't remember which one of these two I ordered at the time, but I know it was for sure this one and maybe one of those. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know one order was five pens, but they were on sale. And then one order was two pens. I can't remember which one of these two it was. So we will open those two together and we'll go from there. Uh, I know, a little excessive, you guys, a little excessive. But they were having a sale on their pens and they were so severely discounted that I just could not resist. So I did a really good order of pens. So we're gonna make a little pile of cover of uh, placers. So they do their multi-placers are going to be the thin placers, which I like, which is great. So if I do decide, which I probably will with this uh, order, I probably will just start using some of these multi-placers. Uh, but look at this one. Beautiful, look at those colors. You've got that yellow to orange to pinkish red with some purple tones in there. This one's a little bit chunkier than I normally go. Uh, but I was like, those colors are just beautiful. So I decided to go ahead and give this one a try uh, because I'm like, I haven't used one like that with that thick, but sometimes a thicker pen is good. So we're gonna put that pen there and then we're gonna go ahead and go with this one, which is very similar. I kind of wanted, but they're different turnings, which is, you know, some of the fun. I keep all of my multi-placers in a little pile. And this one, very similar, so you can tell that it was made from like a similar pour. 
Uh, but I was like, let me try a little bit of a longer style. And then this one is the shorter one, which is kind of like that traditional length that I normally go with. But you can see how it looks totally and completely different. How you can take like that same pour and you can get something that looks completely different. Like you've got green tones in here that you don't have in this one. And it, it just looks so totally different. More of the purples into this bluish green. So I had to have this one. It's definitely got that thinner look and feel, but I wanted to try one of the chunkier, larger pens. So I decided to go with that one as well. So you've got that one there, that one there. I'll move those over once I'm done opening them all. And then we've got this one here which this one will be a nice fall type or like winter type one because if you look closely, you've got little snowflakes interspersed in this one. So it's white to pinkish red, and then you've got snowflakes in here. So I thought that was beautiful with the snowflakes that you see in that one. Gorgeous, right? With the red to the white. So I'm like, that one will be like a nice holiday themed one. That's about as close as you're gonna see to holiday themed uh, on like with me because I don't really do holiday holiday themes so that's as close as you're gonna get and that's back down to like my normal size uh, of what I normally get and then we get this one which I could not resist look at those large sparkles uh, like you get the rainbow type colors with those sparkles and it was just too beautiful could not resist this it is beyond gorgeous. I love this like darker greenish blue fading into like the purple with some purples into those reds back to that green and blue. So there was this one. So there's those four. That's the first four. And of course these are all, let me go ahead and rearrange some of this. I should probably go ahead and actually, we're gonna move the candy up and we're gonna put our scratch twins over there. We'll just stack them right there. I'm gonna make it so they're actually all over in the proper placement. I'm just gonna be right there. Because it bothers me that they're not in their right order. This is me being very particular because that's how I am. We're gonna make our copper minder pile or our multi-placer pile. But there's the first four. And I can't remember which one of these two. I ordered first. I can't remember. We're just gonna pull out this one. Um, because one of these two was placed with this order and then the following week I got two pens with the new releases but I don't remember which one of the two. And uh, I'd have to look back on my phone but my phone is right there. But here is this one. Look at that. This one is really, really cute and fun. And it's got little glitter ducks in there. So you've got this red, like, almost like the red gold flake type stuff, but it's not gold obviously because it's red. But you've got this red, like, flaky type, uh, goldish type stuff in there. And then you've got um, all in there with like that clear backing, this like light lavenderish almost uh, type of colorway of like the coloring that you see in there. And then you've got little gold glitter ducks, which are the cutest thing ever. Those little gold glitter ducks are adorable. So I thought they were precious. So, couldn't resist that one. It was super cute. The little gold glitter ducks. And that was this pen here, which I'm going to put down there. And I think that one went with this order, but I'm not positive. And then the next order was only two pens because I limited myself. Because I was like, I went a little crazy the previous week because they were having a sale. So I can't remember if this one was part of that order or if it was part of this order or which order it went into, but I only got two pens. One of them is this gorgeous purple and white pen. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Ooh, so pretty. 
gorgeous. And then the other one I was extremely, extremely excited about. Like, saw this pen and could not believe my eyes. And I had to absolutely had to get it. It was the perfect size and everything. Look at this gorgeous, beyond belief, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Like, oh my goodness. I have to make sure you guys are getting a good enough image of this. Look at that beauty. Look at those beautiful, beautiful flowers. That is an incredible work of art. Oh my gosh. I saw this pen and I'm like, okay, I don't care what I have to do. I have got to like frantically be stalking that website for that drop because this was calling my name. This pen, like that green bluish greenish color like that tealish aqua down here and then going into the pink glitters and it was like that it was like I don't care what size it is but fortunately it was like that perfect like length oh beautiful and like look at the detail on these tiny little flowers they are beyond beautiful oh my word I'm just like fascinated by this this is one of those pens that I look at and I'm like, I can't not stare at it. Cause it's just oh, such a work of art. Elizabeth and Edward, you guys, ah, oh, that is incredible. I'm like, okay, I am obsessed now. This pen, ah, oh, this is like, I think this is my now, my all time favorite pen, just with how it looks. I think this is gonna be my new favorite. I mean, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so these i believe were the two new releases um from the last purchase that i made from them were these two pens <sighs> i love it it's gorgeous beyond gorgeous as you can see i like their smaller sized pens the, like the, the five and a half inch or so are about the size that I like to go with that five, five and a half inch. That's like my perfect happy medium. I did decide to try one of the larger pens to see how I liked their chunky pens, which is why I went with one of the chunky pens as opposed to all of the rest of them being like very similar size wise. So we're gonna like, so I'll see how I like that one um, and go from there. But anyways, you guys, this was my small shop haul for today. So we have my now adorable Beyond Belief uh, unicorn collection from Osnap Crafters Cafe. These adorable turtles and my quad cube set and then a pack for blinging up Mr. Peacock from DP with Sparklers. And then, um, yeah, I think I need to uh, tone it back on the pens for a while, you guys, because yeah, kind of got a little carried away with my pen purchases uh, from Enablers Outpost. They're the perfect size and they weigh, then they're done very, very well. Edward does a fantastic job. And I am just like, oh, this pen, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's a work of art, you guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful pen. Anyways, all right. That's enough of ooing and aahing off over my uh, purchases you guys I'm gonna let you go it's I always film my videos way too late at night and I need to go to bed so I'm gonna let you guys go mochi is all curled up in the box that the pens came in so mochi's having um, her gift now she's like it's too late mom I need to go to bed um, and I will see you guys in the next video so have a great day everybody bye